but the suits quickly realized that they were also different from each other. They needed to find a way to organize themselves into different groups based on their unique characteristics. So, they turned to the taxonomical hierarchy. They began by dividing themselves into different phyla based on their body plan. The fuzzballs and reptilians were grouped together in the quadata phylum, while the spiky cacti and furry koalas were grouped in the echinodermata phylum. It was like a big game of Tetris, but with creatures instead of blocks. Then came the classifying of their families, genera, and species. They used binomial nomenclature, which is just a fancy way of saying they named creatures based on their genus and species. For example, the furry koala's scientific name was Fascalactosinarius. It was like a secret code that only the zoots could crack. But here's the best part, they also had a kingdom for their really, really weird creatures. They called it the Weirdos Kingdom. It was like a VIP club, but instead of velvet ropes, they had tentacles and blob-like creatures. The weirdos were home to creatures such as the tentacled octoblobs and the blob-like oozers. The suits were thrilled with their new system of classification. They even started throwing parties to celebrate whenever they discovered a new creature. They would work together to find the perfect place for it within their taxonomical hierarchy. It was like a giant game of Where's Waldo? but with creatures instead of a dude in a red and white striped shirt. And so, the kingdoms of quirky creatures lived happily ever after, with their unique system of classification and their love for all creatures great and small. They even had t-shirts made with their scientific names on them, like the fuzzy buzzy bear and the spiky muck spiky face. It was like a fashion statement and a biology lesson all rolled into one.